happens. Yeah. You need to break yeah. yourself yeah. up if you want to speculate. Yeah. 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 Ye
here where we here where we was so all about however I would be still slightly bearish on this cross rate to come to a point so if you're in the money and you can yeah get profit on Friday or even still still uh, stay short however unless the stuff again it's still yours and I would still slightly pref prefer the short side in the cable not in every pound uh, pound how do you say pound cross rate yes and not in every dollar cross rate be long and not in every pound be short but in this I would slightly prefer the short side so can take profit or stay short however analyze this stuff again it's still yours so let's go to the pound New Zealand dollar and here we are yes we are slightly in the red line not in the money here we bought or if you take this trading capability here I thought we will break above so and uh, we are still here in this price area so my opinion is this a very good price area so here we've got the lows of last month so stay aware take the stops take the stops here call here we are here right here right now round about lows so stay aware I would still create here around about 1.93 the stops so if you bought here about round about 94 94 yeah 100 pips so uh, take take away so I'm not uh, so if you fall here down and fall oops zoom a little bit excuse me what's not what I want so here so here we've got this upside trend so here that's a critical area so if you fall down stay one day down under I would uh, I would make or uh, should make a new technical synthesis by this cross rate so by the way perhaps we rise too too fast too furious in this case I need to brief again so uh, however we'll see what will happen and stay aware in this cross rate so pound New Zealand dollar so so if we are trading in this could be still good option but if we fall right under uh, and you bought here this line we are here in yeah 100 points down under so uh, yes I don't know if, where you take uh, took your stops if you're in already so after map this was not a good trading capability here on Friday come to yesterday's to the dollar chief and we see here we've got today the unemployment data still uh, falling 8.2 and uh, all about that we are here trading around about this level about the highs of yesterday the day before so uh, interesting lie I would still slightly prefer the long side in this cross rate even we broke this upside trends for mo for Monday and Tuesday here Wednesday here Tuesdays here uh, Monday's upside trend Tuesdays here we've got Wednesdays or oh, no Thursday not Monday Tuesdays yes Tuesdays yes Tuesdays upside trend Wednesdays uh, Tuesday and Wednesday's upside trend here so and Thursday's here was too high and here we've got the sideways trend by the way so we are a little bit also in the red line so uh, how, uh, I don't know how big your risk on or your risk appetite is but I would slightly still prefer the long side than this cross rate so by the way here we've got the sell off the data are uh, 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 yes the how do you say the unemployed I don't saw the details only the number 8.2 
but the market uh, sells out. So perhaps we, we can catch the uh, the dollar chief lower prices. So don't forget to stop wherever you wanna uh, trade this cross rate. But I would slightly still prefer the long side here. Perhaps next week when we start the trade, perhaps with a slightly sell off round about 91 here, 90 bound 30, 40 or 91 and then we've got also a better technical picture so here so but I would still prefer the long side and if you bought dollar chief last week round about this area here round about this area after this fall off and here yes here was it week before last week so we are still uh, in a green line so so I would still prefer or I'm still accepting slightly higher prices in the dollar chief so okay guys analyze this stuff again it's still yours once again perhaps pound dollar slightly bearish pound gen uh, pound New Zealand dollar uh, I'm thinking was a wrong decision to go long in this here. However, we will see. Don't forget to stop. Dollar chief, I also would prefer the long side, but don't forget to stop. So, okay. And if you're in the pound, in the cable inside, take profit or even uh, don't forget to stop to realize your money. So, okay. However, unlike the stuff again, it's still yours. And I want to give you also every Friday after the review an outlook about one currency today with the euro. I'm I'm talking. I talked about the euro last week also in my German edition of Friday. So uh, even about the dollar in my English last Friday. So I talked today in my German about some words about the dollar and here in my English edition about the euro. Here we've got the euro historical development European area 70s all 70 countries vis-a-vis -vis trading partners 20 foreign uh, and most important trading partners and what we see we've got here those basic trend lines. Let me shortly explain the lines. Here we've got the basically upside trend it was created before the euro was realized as the EQ here about then uh, <laughs> since then yes of course since then 93 until 98 so this was the basically upside trend here we can see it perhaps without the right extension much better here this was it here before so before the euro was created and real money before it was only an uh, a digital account if you want an EQ however we've got here this and the highs here so if you want that was the story of the euro or the theme uh, the story of the euro before he was born if you want so here here, okay, 99 it was then the currency, 2001 we've got it in the pocket, however, here, and we see here the highs and the upside trend, so, so, and after he was born, 1999, and our cash account in Europe, we've got also our old Europe currency and the Euro, and 2001 we've got the Euro done in the pocket, and we see the big theme, that was the first scenario in my opinion, historical. The second even was the sell-off after uh, it was a, a, ba a bank account this two years. And then since we've got the euro in the pocket in Europe, we've got this basic upside trend, even since crisis here. So the third one, the fourth one. So first, second, third, and here the fourth one, the blue, the blue what we call the crisis so what the crisis fourth the fifth one in my opinion even is the side rate trend since 2006 so the side rate trend the sixth one I will talk 
I'll tell you something about this uh, yes, uh, a little bit later. And the seven, and with where we are here right now, is this case after the crisis, if you want, here or since 2010. Okay, while the crisis, uh, A, B, C, and D. Yeah, this is the name of the game, or the name of the game, or of the game, call it like you want. So, and interesting is, we've got here this white extension. We see here a little bit above, above. So, while the crisis or before the crisis, we broke both lines. So, from technical view. So, and the question is, of course, in a historical uh, context. Will we ever, ever, will we ever get or well, get prices back so high prices in the euro? Even cause 2000 fan A B C D, and now I want to give you here the seventh scenario with the sixth one. Cause six one, we are right here right now at prices like 2006. So and this was before the crisis started. And uh, and here we are now after crisis. Before the crisis, we don't got a government debt. Debt. I told this in my German a little bit more in the detail. So if if you speak understand German, you so you un you understand my conclusion better. I'm trying to explain it in English. So however, here 2006 before the crisis happened, we don't got a problem in our government debt with the unemployment so with the real economy with the government debt and with the bonds so and after the crisis we are at the same price level here like 2006 and we've got these three free problems so this free hot dogs if you want so government debt unemployment as economic real economy issues and even of course uh, Bonds, yes, bond, bond spreads in the euro. So, and the name of the game, or the name of the game is, of course, will the euro rises of this uh, of this problems or not? So, uh, yeah, that's a big question, big issue, three big issues, and yeah, how do you say also three black swans if you want hot dogs, call it like you want. So, and uh, of course not ducktails, yes. However, so that's the big picture of the euro, and the question is, of course, yes, as a contrarian, to buy euro. So even uh, like uh, deeper is not impossible. So, or even uh, yes, said once again, even of the issue, we are same price uh, levels like 2006 and then the euro rises greatly 2007 8 9 10 also and here after the crisis we've got these three problems black swans government spending or government debt real economic pressure and even bonds so that's the name of the game and that's our three big drivers if you want three black swans and how the market and how the government and the economy, economy will this handle it, we will see it, unless the stuff again is still yours. And that's in my opinion the big picture of the Euro. To go a little bit more in the detail, here we see uh, here uh, the development since 2009, the highs and the lows 2010 so we've got here from technical view three scenarios here by the way the timeline FIBO line and uh, and the sp and the space or price action FIBO line and here this scenarios so we've got 2009 here this triangle then the sell off wv wv so here and then we've got here this uh, yeah, sell pressure here once again. Here with this yellow, and here W and V. So and here this from the beers, this pressure and this pressure. So here, so here bull, beer, 
and then bull once again here beer once again he also slightly bullish upside trend 2011 then beer beer and here also bull so in my opinion the most important thing is of course here let me surely paint this in here this yellow line even temporarily highs 2010-2011 and if you want here once again 2011 with outbreaks so and we see uh, I thought I'd paint this in. So, well. now we can do this. Okay. So, we see this, we saw this here this downside trend so that's the downside trend since 2011 a little bit shorter or uh, more straighter than the side trade trend 2010 and interesting is here if we put this in the right side here we see 2010-2011 the highs and put it to the right side right direction take over here Okay, we've got here 2011, this uh, phase break off, and here in the autumn, here also a uh, uh, phase break off, and then a sharp sell off here in the last two months, 2011. So, and now we are trying to recover, it. and the question is, of course, roundabout. Excuse me. Here, the question is, of course, we are roundabout B and historical levels here at 996048. So, so 996048 is not in this picture, but I could paint it in. Here, here we are. So very interesting fact, in my opinion. Of course, it's not so interesting for the daily trades. So it's an European area vis-a-vis -vis, uh, trade exchanges index. So with uh, more numbers, not only the nominal price value, which we are trading as FX traders. So don't forget this simple fact, important fact. But uh, it gives you surely an, uh, how to say, feeling about the big picture. And even with the compare, even compare with the, how to say, with the, yes, with the economic data. So we are here at levels around about 2006 before the crisis. And here, no theme, no question, no answer about uh, government debt, bonds. Bonds were the same price level, no so much spreads and economic was yeah, much more grateful than today. So and we are here at the same price levels and with this in the pocket with this free uh, black swans, hot dogs, call it like you want, or free facts. Yes, new facts. So and how to trade it, how to make money with this, I don't know, we will see it, but stay aware, stay cautious, stay aware, stay on point, and uh, yes, analyze the stuff again, it's still yours, and put it down in your own trading plan. Okay guys, 
My name is still Damian Galsch from Gouda, Germany. It's 7.43 Central European time on Carl Friday. So wish you a great Eastern weekend. Uh, it's 6, 6, yes, 6 April 2012, Friday, 11.44 in New York, 70.44 in Brussel, Frankfurt, Zurich or even Stuttgart where I am. So wish you a great Eastern weekend talking to you on Monday. Analyze the stuff again, it's still yours. Stay there, that will be surely uh, much more interesting in the next weeks and days. So, good morning, good day, and good night, wherever and whenever you're watching my FM Signals Info Show. Bye bye. Talking to you next week, once again.